Hi all business owners, today I want to talk to you about why profit. You have been running your business for a few years and over the years you put in lots of effort to grow your sales or your revenue. Hoping that growing revenue will eventually translate into greater profitability. However, the more sales you generate, the more expenses you incur and eventually you realize that, if anything, profit has been dwindling. Above scenario happens again and again, you know, for many business owners and today I want to talk to you about why profit. Why profit? If you run a business, making your business profitable should be your first priority. Because without profits, your business will run into cash flow issues. Without profits, you cannot sustain your operation. And most importantly, without profits, you cannot pay yourself. Hence, making profit in business is not a luxury, it is a necessity. The challenge here is how do you grow your revenue without incurring additional costs? So there are a couple of questions you need to ask yourself if you run a business. The first question is, do you understand your margin? Oftentimes when we talk to business owners, they would tell us that I'm not an accountant, so I do not understand numbers, I do not understand what is margin. Now if you run a business, this is not a good excuse. It is the responsibility of every business owner to understand your gross profit margin and your net profit margin. What is gross margin? Gross margin simply means your sales minus your variable costs. And variable costs are typically direct costs that's attributable to every dollar of sale that you make. What is net profit margin? Net profit margin is a little different from gross because net profit margin is you take your sales minus your variable costs and then you have to minus your fixed costs. Fixed costs, they are typically costs that you would incur every month regardless of whether you have sales. For example, rent or salary that you have to pay for your employees. Many times you have to pay for your fixed costs regardless of whether revenue is generated or not. What is your industry trend? Now, industry trend would allow you to benchmark your operation against the industry to understand whether you are in line or you are out of line in terms of your margin. Now, margin analysis allows you to analyze your operational efficiency so you could identify ways to become more efficient in running your business, which ultimately will lead to greater profitability. Some of the questions that a business owner should consider when they do margin analysis is how can my team be more efficient? Can we source for cheaper material without compromising the quality of our products? Or in the event that you really cannot reduce your cost, you may need to consider increasing your pricing in order to maintain a healthy margin to keep your business going. The next topic I want to talk to you about is developing a profit plan. Why is a profit plan important for your business? Plain simple, if you don't plan to make a profit, at the end of the day, your business may not be profitable. So to start with, the first step is you need to understand in the last 12 months, what is your financial performance? You need to have a very clear financial view of your income statements, whether your business is profitable or it is not. Now, if it is not profitable, you probably want to have a plan to grow your profitability. You know, some of the questions you could ask yourself is where is your focus? Are you planning to grow your top line, which is your revenue? Or do you think that you have to streamline your cost to reduce your cost of operations? Or do you need to do both? Example, if you're in service business, one question you could ask yourself is, can I generate more billable hours? If you're selling multiple products, you might want to analyze to understand what is your loss leader, what is your cash cow? Because ultimately, if you sell a lot of loss leaders, what that means is that the more you sell, the more you are going to lose. we talk about margin analysis and we talk about developing a profit plan, last but not least, once we have the both elements, we need to look into forecasting and budgeting. Forecasting. Why do you forecast? 
you forecast because you want to understand and you want to be able to predict you know, the growth or the trend of your growth in revenue. By doing that, you need to identify ways and course of actions that you could take to boost revenue. I'll give you one example. By either introducing new offerings to the market or enhance your current offerings. I mean, your customers need something new every once in a while. You know, you need to come out with new offerings, new services or new products. Uh, you know, just like, you know, an Android or iPhone, you would always have new products coming up so that your customers are excited about new things. Why do you budget? You can spend, spend and spend more before you knew it or your profits are gone. To run an efficient operation, monitoring your spending is a must. As a business owner, you are responsible to make sure every dollar is well spent at the right place. Any unnecessary spending will result in wastages. So the conclusion today is that we talk about the reason why profit is important for every business. We explain why profit. We explain what does understanding margin means to you. And we also talk about how to grow profitability using a profit plan. And we talk about the importance of budgeting and forecasting for every business. Being a business owner for you know, over 10 years now and being a CPA for over 20 years, I would tell you an idea remains an idea. If you watch this video and you have some ideas of how you can boost profitability, I would urge and encourage you to quickly write down on a piece of paper so you can think about it and develop an actual plan to implement and execute. If you need help, please reach out. We're here to help you. If you need Need, uh, assistance in terms of understanding your numbers or develop a profit plan we would love to help you um, you know other than that please like share subscribe to this channel so that we can continue to pour in more efforts to produce meaningful content for all business owners till then we'll see you next time thank you so much for watching goodbye